Real deal. What's the word, man? I'm back with another real deal video. And today, I got a special real deal video for y'all, man. So look, apparently a Florida rapper was charged with murder after taking a photo of a victim that he killed on camera. She'd say the black damn. vehicle was parked parallel to the white BMW. Look how, look how, it, damn. I don't know what's going on with these dudes in their head with these rappers, man. They getting dumber and dumber, but we about to check out this real deal video. I beg them not to go. I can't do this no more. I just buried two grandsons. Damn. Life is too short for this stuff. Life is too short. He's too damn. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, man. We rolled to 5K, man. We gonna hit that. We gonna hit 10K. We gonna hit a million. Just keep rocking with me, gang. And make sure you turn those post notifications on. Shout out to 1090J for the video. Link in the description down below. Shooting on the street. Gunfire causes a crash in Lauder Hill. And police say Damn. the shooter took off. I told him not to go. I begged him not to go. I can't do this no more. I just buried two grandsons. Damn. Life is too short for this stuff. Life is too short. He's too Damn, bro. Like, I'm, bro, come on, bro. Y'all, y'all got to, like, I want to do the people, like, like, you know what I'm saying? I know, I know some of y'all that be watching me, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know people or y'all know, y'all might be some people that be in gangs and shit like that and be shooting that shit, but... I wonder, do y'all ever think about how other people, mama gonna feel like, do that shit like make y'all like, do that shit make y'all happy or something like, like, like this somebody mama, this somebody auntie, like I want y'all to understand that everything you do, you know what I'm saying, whatever happens in this world, it don't just affect you type shit. So you know what I'm saying, you might be happy, you just whacked your op, but then his mama gotta bury her son, his granny gotta bury her son, her her his little brother. You know what I'm saying? Gotta gotta grow up without having a big brother. You know what I'm saying? It's people and pieces in this world that are very important and very key in people's life. So I just want y'all to think about that. If people ever decide to do dumb things like this, bro, you not you can't justify nothing that y'all do like this. Taking another life, you can't well, that's justify. My it. Oldest baby. December Man, 22nd, this shit's sad. 2021. It was 11:34 in the morning when Lauder Hill Police responded at 18th Court after reports of shots fired. When thinking Dummy. of a gated community, you might think of the suburbs or golf courses and gates meant to Ooh. keep people out. But Not in the Windermere Tree Garden apartments, it's almost as Damn, if that's the gutter. are meant to keep people Damn. out. Damn! They like the good of y'all. I ain't gonna lie. That's the trenches for real. They tell us that there are several shell casings in the middle of the street right there. And they say this all started at a rather large gathering inside of the Tree Garden apartment complex. You can still see several investigators right there as well. Officers made their way to Yo, y'all niggas live in Fort Lauderdale. If I lived in Fort Lauderdale, I know what I do. I go to the beach or something. Nigga, find something else to do. Y'all just want to shoot each other? Find something else to do. Y'all live in Florida, bro. It's, it'd be different if y'all live in St. Louis. This is the Midwest. Like, there's nowhere to go. Nigga, y'all could go to the beach anytime y'all want. Y'all could go do just... Y'all could do anything, bro. Like, find something safe to do. I'm not justifying nothing, but, like, find something safe to do, bro. It's more than just killing people. Like, y'all ass dumb. Dumb. He's driver's seat of a BMW slumped over Damn, with he a the head. EMS responded, transporting the victim with life-threatening injuries, Damn. while officers secured the crime scene. The BMW had bullet holes in the doors, windows, and a gray LG phone would be found laying by the front passenger tire, that's a along hit for with sure. a vehicle key fob. Damn, that's a officers hit for sure. Officers different caliber shell casings trailed from the 5200 block to the 5300 block of 18th Court. A detective met with a witness who saw it all go down from her window. She'd stayed a black damn. vehicle was parked parallel to the white BMW. Look how, look how, it, damn, they, this, this, this had to be why he was driving type shit. Because the way the car's like, you know what I'm saying, like the impact on the car and the way the car, like, you know what I'm saying, he must have been like either they was in the car and they fanned him down while he was driving type shit, or he was coming down and they they was ducked off in there waiting for him to come down and they fanned him down. I don't know which way it happened, but they fanned him down like while he was driving for sure. I ain't gonna lie. Multiple gunshots erupted. That's why I gotta move right. Lose off. what? Lose your life. The white BMW attempted to drive, but struck a I mean, or lose your life. Before coming matter. to a stop a few doors down. Officers met with the Lauder Hill Housing Authority and were able to recover surveillance footage that captured a the black well. Dodge Charger fleeing the scene. The apartment complex is a one way in, one way out. That's under 24 Damn. hour surveillance. They bold as hell. Video would capture That's the some suspect's bullshit. vehicle plates and tag. And the next day, a license plate reader would notify officers the Dodge Charger was on Northwest 14th Street. 
Lotta Hill officers were dispatched to the area, locating the vehicle, and as officers attempted to make contact, the vehicle drove off. Coming to a stop on 16th Court, the driver ran from the scene before being located by a Broward Sheriff's Office helicopter. Damn, they wanted him. 24-year-old Robert White. The passenger in the vehicle had also ran, but successfully got away. Damn. A detective responded to the scene when Robert White asked him if he was a homicide detective before the detective even introduced himself. Damn, y'all be like, suit. look, y'all niggas is dumb. Like, that's just, just if y'all watch my last video, watch, go watch my last video, but young boy just did the same thing. His ass just said, told the officer looking for, you know what I'm saying, before he even asked any questions. Why is y'all saying shit before y'all even get questioned? Stop talking. Like, I'm not saying that what y'all doing is right or nothing, but at least y'all have some sense to, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to say shit till, you know what I'm saying? I talk to a lawyer or something. Y'all ask me, is, is, you, is you a homicide detective? You know what I'm saying? Are you here because I killed somebody? Yo, dumbass. Looking stupid. Filled with evidence tape and told the police department while Robert was arrested for reckless driving, resisting, and marijuana. Damn, Robert so he didn't even get booked for it. For an interview and agreed to speak with the detective. He'd say it wasn't him who was driving when officers gave chase, it was his friend Travis. Damn, he read it! Multiple contradictory statements about when Travis picked him up. Robert would also ask the detective if he was being questioned about a shooting that happened. Niggas get in that room and turn straight. Come on, bro. You in here, red? I, you gave your partner name up. That count is red. And I ain't trying to hear it, bro. I ain't trying to hear it. You get your partner name up. How you gonna get your partner name up? If you gonna do the crime, you know what I'm saying? If you gonna be in the traffic, you know what I'm saying, with somebody that you know doing drills, like if you gonna put yourself in that situation, you gotta stand on all everything that come behind it, bro, for real. And I you gotta stand on everything that come behind it. Ain't no it ain't no cuts, no bust, no coconuts. You're not getting out of this for sure. No, hell nah. You gotta stand on what what you come on, bro. The detective would then tell soft. Robert he was being investigated because he was driving a vehicle involved in a homicide in Lauder Hill. Mm. He did not know anything about Tell it and say he only found out about the shooting through the news and social media. The interview would end before 4 a.m. on December 23rd. And six hours later, 20-year-old Nashawn Brown, the man found inside of the white BMW, was pronounced dead. Damn, Detectives man. would meet with Kiera August, a then 23-year-old woman with a decent criminal history, who advised she was the of the black charger. She'd state she rents the car out through Instagram and Turo, while her business partner Dre handles the transaction. Hell nah, that's a motherfucker. That's I mean, I don't mean to cuss like that. Please don't yellow mark my video, but that's the striker gang. That's a striker. They just be selling strikers on Facebook Marketplace, bro. That's that's exactly what that is. They 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 selling strikers or they rent strikers for sure. That motherfucker hot. She provided officers with Dre's number, and within the hour, detectives met with Dre. Damn. DeAndre Fleury Demond, or Dre, told detectives he Is my face in the way, bro? Hold on, y'all. Quick break. To an individual right, he knew as AJ. AJ contacted him through Instagram, but Dre would tell detectives he can't remember AJ's Instagram name because he gets so many messages. But he was able to remember. AJ returned the charger at 1 p.m. on December 22nd, an hour and a half after the murder. Dre would then tell the detective AJ was currently renting a white Kia Soul and was scheduled to return it in a few hours. Officers were able to locate the Kia one hour before it was supposed to be returned, finding 19-year-old Aaron Polk, aka AJ, in the driver's seat and 18-year-old Isaiah Sumter. Isaiah would be more commonly known as Broward rapper Color Money Red. At this Damn. point, neither one of them did anything, and detectives advised them to take all of their belongings out of the vehicle before leaving. Once gone, Dre came to collect the rental and told detectives they can remove any evidence from the vehicle. Officers would find a 9mm handgun inside a sneaker in the driver's footrest area. Dre would also notify detectives AJ texted him, stating he left his firearm in the vehicle and it's registered. Three days later, Dre once again mm. met with detectives. Hold on, this is a good one, y'all, because, like, like low-key on some shit, like, 
I don't know, like, if these, I can't really say that they got, like, a, I'm not going to say, they, not, not to say, hold on, let me, let me get my words together, bro, you know I'm a little slow, bro, damn, um, low key, I don't know how they going to connect him besides Dre saying he rented the car, type shit, because they can't really place him, if he, like, he got to have a good ass alibi, AJ got to have a good ass alibi to get out of this, like, you got to have a good ass alibi, if he can have a good ass alibi, then he might be able to get out of this. Between him and AJ. Dre would say, you never sent your payment for yesterday, are you extending, or do I need to come get the car? AJ would reply with, I'm extending, about to send right now. The text was later followed by, nah, I'm trying to exchange. Based on the date and time, the detective noted AJ was asking to extend the rental time shortly before the murder took place. Then after the murder was committed, he wanted to exchange the vehicle for another. AJ sent Dre a location uh, okay. to exchange vehicles at the ultimate car wash on Federal Highway. Detectives would make their way to the car wash recovering surveillance video from after the murder. AJ oh, so the all right, all right, so 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 I got it mixed up. My bad. So the dude in the beginning had nothing to do with. Hey, he had nothing to do with this shit. He just got. He was just renting the car. So the car been getting rented out. So it's not no striker. The car been getting rented out. That Dre, that Dre dude, he the one that rented out the. So 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 that don't got nothing to do with them. It's just these three. It's just these three. AJ is the one that really, you know, what I'm saying did the drill type shit. Okay, I had to get that established, bro. I was confused in the beginning, bro. I know y'all probably getting on my ass like, oh, Q, you gotta know all the facts. You just be yapping this shit. Okay, man. Why you on my death for word? I don't burn them. Come on. Seen exiting the driver door, Red exited the rear driver door, and a third man identified as Devin Howard exited the front passenger. Devin will be more commonly known as Broward rapper Shift One. All Why are all these Broward rappers going to jail? The I mean, the shoot windows of the rented black charger. A black male would walk up to them while speaking on his cell phone and talking to Shift One. They were both laughing. And Shift 1 made a slumping over gesture with his body two times. As detectives watched the video, they noted how the murder victim, Nashawn Brown, was left slumped over in the BMW. Uh, and it appeared Shift 1 was mocking his death. I don't understand. They watched outside and inside of the vehicle before Shift 1 got into the unidentified man's Mercedes while AJ and Red back into the Charger before driving off. No, these things can't be this dumb. I know they say everybody in Florida crazy, which I'm starting to agree with, bro. Everybody in Florida like, like, like mentally, like, like goofy. But y'all, like, why go to the internet? Like, I know back in 2013, 2014, when Fizz went, oh, Fizz was still looking at that. But like, like 2013, 2014, when social media first started, you know what I'm saying? They was doing that in the rack and stuff like that. And I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying none. Of, I'm not justifying none of this. I'm saying it again. But in in 2024, why take anything, any crime that you do to social media? Y'all not really no real drillers. I can't call y'all no. Y'all not y'all not no real. Y'all not no real drillers to 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 do some goofy stuff like that. Like that's 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 goofy shit. I'm not gonna lie, that's goofy shit. Like, and then gonna post about it, like incriminating yourself. Now y'all are booked for first degree M's. Y'all put it on camera. Y'all did the slumped over. Y'all did the slumped over pose, incriminating yourself. And y'all hopped in the seat and took a picture. Like, I don't. I think this is about as dumb as it gets, y'all. Huh? I think this is about as dumb as it gets, for sure. AJ and Red would drive to Dania Beach to meet Dre on the third floor of a parking garage. They then make the vehicle exchange. On January 5th, 2022, the detective would piece together the information from his investigation. The motive for the homicide was issues between two separate gangs. Mm -hmm, it was gang the involved. victim was affiliated with Snap Ave. Snap Ave being based around 74th Ave in North Lauderdale. Okay. Snap Ave are documented rivals with ZMF or Zo Mafia family. Oh, so that's the Zo. Oh, okay, okay. Gang. Made famous by Kodak. Sniper Bass. gang, Kodak. Sniper the gang is based with okay. the Golden Acres projects in Pompano. AJ, Shift One, and Red would all be identified by Broward's gang unit as members of ZMF, but they weren't from Pompano. 
They were from Lotta Hill and claimed LKB or Lotta Kill Babies and KTB or Cutthroat Business. See, I don't understand, like, when you're not from, like, where they from, like, you don't really too much understand, like, how they, how they, how they system set up, how they click set up, because, like, in certain places, like, gangs, like, like, in Iraq, look, gangs off blocks, like, you know what I'm saying? Over here in St. Louis, gangs off, you know what I'm saying? We got, man, St. Louis a, a mixture of everything, but they got gangs on blocks, they got internet gangs, since they got gangs that, that they really bang, like, like colors and like, but it's it's crazy, but it's like it's like, bro, like what do y'all really be thinking in y'all head that make y'all wanna, you know what I'm saying? Like 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 put yourself in this type of situation. Now y'all finna sit in the booty jail for life. Like y'all finna be in y'all finna be in the booty club. Y'all finna be in the booty club for life. Like I don't know what y'all. I don't know. I don't know if that's what y'all expected to get out of this. I don't know if y'all thought y'all was gonna get away cleanly. I don't know what y'all thought in this situation. But y'all in them all. Y'all first degree. First degree. Y'all done. Who was known by Y'all done. Y'all finna get first. Had numerous negative interactions with all three men on Instagram. Detectives would bring Dre back to the office as he was now a regular in the interview room, and Dre would identify AJ by photo as the driver of the black charger before identifying Ray. I mean, shit, he ain't got nothing to do with it. I identified his ass too. I right? should do this. Instagram, and detectives would find a video of AJ and Red sitting in a car reacting to a video of the victim's crashed BMW. <laughs> Another video posted by AJ would show AJ walking on 18th court where the murder happened saying this whereof became famous. He'd continue on by showing Oh my the god, they ass stupid. Was that shit right there dangerous. AJ would react to a picture of Fetty sitting on a vehicle. He posted on the ground look over here taking pictures like this shit here because that's when shit be happening. You don't even know me and you're trying to post up on me like it's cool for Instagram. That's why you're where you're at. This shit ain't safe. Switching from the picture of Fetty to the video of his crash BMW, AJ says, I made his ass famous. Put him on the news. Fuck the cops. These crackers mad because I can do shit right here freely and don't get in trouble. Now you're AJ not free no more. the video of the crash car laughing, saying you fuck is mad. You mad because that dead and he can't come back on this street and take a picture no more. AJ would switch back to the picture of the victim saying, You want to come over here and play with me? You don't even know who I am. Shit don't be funny no more when I got the gun. A cell phone oh warrant would reveal yeah, AJ's stupid. phone was in the area of the murder when it happened and inside the Dodge Charger after. His phone's GPS coordinates would be tracked from the murder scene all the way to the car wash and finally to where the car was returned to Dre. A cell phone search. This shit gotta be fool, right? I ain't gonna lie, this shit gotta be fool. You could be doing anything else but you beefing with other niggas. Like, this shit gotta be fool, right? Am I tripping? I know I'm not tripping. This shit gotta be fool, right? You rather beef and try to go kill another nigga rather than get some buzz, rather than go out to town, rather than get some money, rather than, like, I'd rather prefer y'all to jug. I'd rather prefer y'all to jug, jug, ride around jugging than, like, 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 what? Like, it. <laughs> Yeah, like, I can't, like, it's shit funny to me because it's like, bro, like, the level of stupidity is at its all-time high. Like, he said fuck the cops, but now you sitting in jail for life. Like, like, bro, like, what are you getting out of this? Like, I'm just confused. Like, it just don't make sense to me. This shit fool as hell. You got to beef with some niggas. Go kill some niggas. Leading up to his death, get on some, texting get, an email get some boys. Weirdo. The email would say he was at 18th Court. And the victim would reply saying he's beefing with them boys from Lauder Hill. A short time later, the victim would write, Cuh, I don't see you, implying he was on 18th Court. Detectives would find out the email belonged to a man named Woodley Astride. Detectives met with Woodley at his probation office where they conducted an interview. Woodley said he knew the victim because they were cellmates and he confirmed he was speaking with the victim before he was killed because the victim was going to give him a ride to probation. Woodley would sit inside the vehicle with the victim for roughly 10 minutes when the victim said he had something to do. Woodley went back inside his apartment and gunfire erupted. 
Woodley would deny seeing the shooting or knowing any details as to why it happened. Uh, it now that is that's fishy no right there. Set up, set up, back then. 2021, the case would go quiet until April 24th of 2024. Devin Howard, aka Shift One, was already in jail on unrelated charges when charged with capital murder. Isaiah Sumter, aka Red, was also already in jail, and on April 29th, he was charged with capital murder. A lot remains unknown, like why only Shift and Red are charged. Yeah, like, like wait, AJ whoa, whoa, he not booked. AJ not booked. Did all the talking. The car was rented by AJ, the gun left in the car was said to have belonged to AJ, and AJ sent all of the text messages to the rental guy. He free? The most incriminating thing Schiff did was laughing and allegedly slumping over the car wash marking the victim's death. That alone can easily be dismantled by a lawyer. Schiff's cell phone records would show he was at the scene of the murder and every other location after it happened, but so was AJ's and he wasn't charged. Red would be identified by the rental guy as being in the passenger seat, but that doesn't mean anything because the rental guy identified AJ as being the driver. It was AJ who was on live looking at the video of the victim saying we did that with Red in the car. Because this is a first degree murder or a capital crime, both Shift and Red may face the death penalty under Florida law. Living up to the name Lauder Kill, the two rappers seem to practice what they preach as they've dissed the dead and claimed murders in multiple songs. Only standing at 5'4, Red is rumored this to This nigga 5'4? Oh yeah, they beat his ass in there. They beat his ass in there. They having a field day with this nigga. Be the deadliest of the group. And, and, and he Kodak boys. Type shit, type shit, type shit. It's a war, bro. It's a war, bro, huh? with his own songs and Reddit rats allegedly connecting him to a few bodies in Broward County. Both Red and Shift One. Oh, 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 I thought he posted that. I thought he posted that. It, it, Cause it's a Fetty do I D. I thought, I thought he posted this and take like saying that's all the niggas I kill. I feel say, oh, this nigga demon. Allegedly connecting him to a few bodies in Broward County. Both Red and Shift One can even be seen in Tommy G's documentary Inside the Dangerous Hood of Lauder Hill with Lil Cricks. Lil Cricks is one of the rising stars coming out of Broward County directly under Kodak Black. And at one point in the video, Tommy G can be seen throwing Z's up next to Lauder Hill's shortest but biggest stepper, allegedly. Only time will you tell. You want to be the biggest step, and now you face some death penalty, boy, 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 boy. And if Shift and Red killed their shot at freedom. <sighs> Yo, nah, that was some heavy stuff, bro. That was heavy, bro. That was heavy, y'all. Uh, I ain't gonna lie, that was heavy. That was heavy for sure. That was heavy for sure, y'all. Y'all want me, but like, I, I'm com like, I'm confused. How AJ not book like? Italian beef for the Pepsi. You think he for the brother song? Like I, I'm, how, how, how is he? How is he not booked? How is he not booked? That's what I want to know. Did he? Did he rat? Like it's and it's still even if you ratty, you still getting booked on some type of charge. Like that's real fishy, man. That's real fishy. Federal informant. Uh, that's I, 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 nah. He couldn't. That's not even possible. Like I, hey, that's real fishy, man. But. I don't want to react y'all heads off. If y'all like that real deal video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for post notifications so you know when I drop another real deal video. And I'm going to catch y'all next real deal video, real deal game.